Hi, this is Debbie at Vapewares, and we're going to take a minute to go over our newest starter kit, the Authentic Smoke Tech 900 Ma CE5 Redux Clearamizer Starter Kit. Is that enough for you? Um, included in these starter kits is two 900 Ma batteries. They come in black or stainless or a combination of the two. Also included in this kit is your CE5 Redux 1.6 milliliter clearamizer tank. And that tank has comes with a 2.4 ohm wick attached to it already. Um, also in your kit, you're going to have your charging bundle, which includes a wall charger with a USB input there. And it also includes your charging cable. This connection is for your battery. This is to connect to the wall adapter. So first of all, we will discuss the batteries a little more at length. Um, also in your kit, quickly, these great little needle bottles that we love and we've provided for you because we think everybody should have one. Um, you will have a small instruction manual that goes over some very basic information about filling and charging your batteries. And then you'll have your great little carrying case with a zipper. Uh, also has these great elastic bands that can hold your batteries or tanks or combination of the two in place when you're traveling around with them. So we'll come back to some of that stuff. On the batteries, as I said, they come in two colors and um, some basic tips for your battery operation. We're going to show you first of all how to turn it on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Not too slow, not too fast. The light blinking indicates that it's come on. You do the same thing to turn it off. If I look now, see it's on. And I'm doing this without the tank on it because I do not want to burn this dry wick and coil considering that this tank is empty. So I'm just showing you this demonstration, okay? So to turn it off, one, two, three, four, five, same thing. It'll blink and indicate that it's off. Um, your battery does not have to be on or off to charge. Either way is fine. Your cable connected to your wall adapter, which is then plugged into the wall. <clears throat> we will connect the battery here. Not over tightening it. Remember, over tightening can always cause damage to the center connection pin on your battery. I'll show that to you in just a moment. The light will indicate that it's made a connection, and then I believe this light goes off. The light here on your cable will be red when your battery is charging, and it will turn green when your battery is completely charged. So, assuming this battery is completely charged, we take it off. And I wanted to show you that little pin connector that that pin connection, excuse me, see inside of there, we don't want to get that depressed. So anytime you connect it to your charger or if you're connecting it to your tank, never over tighten it. You can see there, that's just, that's really, that's loose, but it's not going to wobble. It's got plenty of thread to it. Um, it's going to stay on. Don't overcharge it. We don't want to damage our batteries. So that's what your whole system looks like there in stainless steel. A little bit of maintenance, you just want to keep these clean, wipe them down with some rubbing alcohol once in a while. I would on a daily basis when I'm going to fill my tank, um, take a Q-tip and run it on the inside of these threads, getting out any excess juice or any slight leakage you might have. You can also clean the outside um, threads as well, and it never hurts to go ahead and clean the inside of your tank here also around in there. About every three days, I dip my Q-tip in rubbing alcohol, and I do the exact same thing, just gets it a little bit cleaner, um, breaks up anything that might be in there. We don't want any excess juice or anything staying in there because, again, it can cause some corrosion and damage to this connection. So I think that covers the batteries. Again, this is the Smoke 900 Ma battery that comes in our 900 Ma starter kits. So that takes us to the tank. In your kit, you got two, as I said. These are the CE5 Redux Clearamizer tanks. They're 1.6 milliliter, and they come with a 2.4 ohm wick. We're going to look at that more closely. So first of all, for filling this tank, this is where your little needle bottles are just amazing. You're going to work from the top. You're going to unscrew your drip tip, set it aside, Using your needle bottle full of liquid, you will tilt your tank, go down the side and find an opening, squeeze in, 
until you get to the fill line at 1.6 mil, which is generally going to be just underneath this rubber gasket for those like me who can't see. Um, you want to keep your tanks full. Anytime it gets to about half full, go ahead and give it a fill up. These wicks are bringing the juice up to the coil and you just want to help them out by keeping it full. Never let your tank go below 0 0.4 unless you're getting ready to change your wicks or something like that. Just be aware that that can really dry out your wick. So you're down to 0 0.4, definitely fill up. Get it halfway and it's convenient. Try to fill up then. Okay. Um, on that, I think that covers that. We're going to replace our drip tip, attach it to our battery, and you're ready to go. Okay? Now, when you do need to change your wick or coil, approximately every 7 to 10 days, but it's going to vary for all users depending on your vaping style. When you get to that point, here's what we need to do. We're going to work from the bottom. You're going to remove the base, pulling out the center tube, working here at the top, grip that rubber grip there and unscrew it. Take a new one out of the package, which you can get from us at vapewares.com. Screw it on there, tighten it well, ready to go back up through the base and be tightened on. But I want to show you something first. As I'm taking these parts apart, as I'm taking these apart, you'll notice these little gaskets that are on here. There's one there, and then as I was opening this here on the drip tip, there's one here. There's several of these on your units. If you ever run this underwater to give it a nice clean, uh, try not, very carefully not to lose those. They really help with your tightening. They really help with the seal so you don't have leaking. It can be a real problem if you do lose them. So keep up with those. Just keep your eye on them. Don't run them underwater too roughly or be too rough with them when you're cleaning them because I don't want you to lose those gaskets. So again, we're gonna slide this up in here. We're just gonna give it a twist. That's going to tighten it back on, get it nice and snug, and you are ready to go. Um, let's see if we've covered everything. General maintenance. Uh, when you do get ready to change your wick or coil, those wicks can be washed out. Occasionally they'll get kind of gunky in the um, coil area, and they won't be performing, but they're not necessarily dead. When that happens... Use normal procedures for changing your wick, but you can remove this rubber tip, giving you better access to the coil, and run warm water through there. If you do that, do it very gently, reassemble, or I, I guess you could leave the cap off, but the most important thing is let it dry out really, really well before you use it again. Make sure that rubber tip is on there. Put it back on. I'll show you one more time. Slide up through the bottom of your tank and tighten it up. Okay? And most importantly, when attaching to your battery, do not over tighten. Just tighten it to the touch. See, that's on there good. Okay? I think we have covered everything. Um, just some tips. Your little needle bottle is great for mixing flavors. We talked to a lot of our customers about that. Um, start adding some flavors into your tobaccos and get away from that cigarette taste. It'll help you in the long run. Um, Maintenance, maintain your batteries, keep them clean. Your battery is going to get about seven to eight hours of use. It's rated for 300 cycles, meaning that it can die and be recharged about 300 times. And it is warranted for 30 days along with your charging cable and wall unit. So if you have any problems with these pieces in the first 30 days, please contact us and we will get replacements out to you uh, when we get yours back to us. Um, think we've covered everything. Again, if you need to reach us, it's uh, service at vapewares.com. And our email address is W, I'm sorry, our website is www.vapewares.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Vapewares. So um, let us know if you have any problems and we love helping you and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.